Welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody! Before we tackle the final dungeon, Bowser's Castle, I thought it would be appropriate to show what happens if you remain on the title screen for a long time. So if you watch it in the beginning, then it's, this is kind of like a glimpse ahead of what's going to happen in the game. But I find it more appropriate to show this off as kind of like a refresher of like, this is all the stuff we've done up to this point. I didn't want to show this off at the beginning because it's got a lot of spoilers in it. Mainly just of like the worlds that you'll visit. Also, it's got groovy music. Paper Mario in general has just phenomenal music. Some of the best I've ever heard, honestly. And definitely some of the most memorable from video games. It's just wonderful. Boom, 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 boom. Remember when we did that? Actually, I don't, because Bo was never there. And we've walked through Toad Town with Bombette. But that's not all, we also went there. There's lava everywhere. And now Paracare. Is going to shell shot him. Poor Paracarry. And we're going to do this right now. We're going to ride a train today. If you push any button on the controller during this, it'll just skip to the title screen. I did that accidentally last time. Uh oh. Poor Shy Guys. I'm surprised you didn't get caught there. Oh yeah, that's the other move that Tubble Wubba can do that we didn't see. Oh, I love all the stuff they do with paper in this game. I think that live screen is appropriate, given the context of the game we're in now. Alright. And I've been playing for 20 and a half hours. Hoo-hoo. Alright. We're at Bowser's Castle now. Boy, Bowser's Castle! Talk about your basic eerie atmosphere, huh? Oh, I'm nervous and excited at the same time. We're heading for the final fight at last! Also, Bowser's Castle has amazing music. And if you'll notice, yes, that is a red block. We do indeed have a badge to get in here. And it is the last badge in the game. Oh, I should equip Spike Shield, shouldn't I? Sorry, Zap Tap. In fact, this Koopa Trolls are quite, kind of hard to beat if you don't have Spike Shield. This is a Koopa Troll. They're elite Koopa Soldiers. They are the highest ranked guards of Bowser's Castle. Max HP 8, Attack Power 4, Defense Power 3. In case you hadn't noticed, they're fitted with spikes. Don't jump on them. When their HP drops low, they'll charge up with power and for one last ditch attack. The power of this desperate attack is 10. They've also been known to call in reinforcements when they're in trouble. Don't underestimate these nasty Koopas, Mario. And this is why I equipped Quick Change, because Watt is really the only party member that's really good against these guys. And I guess Bombette, but... That's if you want to spare the FP. Oh boy, he's calling in reinforcements. Take that, Koopa Troll. Luckily, I've got Spin Attack on, so eventually in Bowser's Castle, I can just insta-KO the Ed's enemies by spinning. Ah, oh boy. If they've got low HP, I think they always call in reinforcements, so do nothing. There we go.
finish him off what oh no I forgot uh, uh, uh. And for that we get a castle key and oh no all the toads are locked up if this was Paper Mario 2 I could get in that cell with you guys but sorry All right. Hi, dude. Oh, boy. I can see how this is going to go. I really don't want them to do the super ultra attack because, well, it's basically like a hyper Goomba attack, only worse. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. I forgot that the command thing defaults to the last command you did, in which case that was strategies. Whoops. Oh well. Made it out no worse for the wear. And I got I must say I love this room, all the mechanisms that are like transferring the lava around. It's very well done. Very nice. Okay, I think I will actually show off Time Out, because I never actually did that after Flower Fields. Like I said, it's literally a stopwatch. Why you would use that instead of Lullaby, I don't know. Lullaby seems to be better in a lot of cases. Take that. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm not spin attacking these guys. It's because there are a lot of enemies in Bowser's Castle that you have to tattle on. How shocking. Alright, who hasn't done that pun before? I do like Watt. She's one of the most unique party members you get. Okay, this is definitely where more of the enemies come into play. Oh, uh, for crying out loud! Alright, you know what? No. Up and away. But I know this hallway is where the other enemies start to appear. Also, I must say, it's been years since I've done Bowser's Castle. I feel like I haven't done Bowser's Castle as recently as the rest of my Paper Mario uh, experiences. So, I forget a lot of the parts of this. Okay. For crying out loud, if you do not have any other enemies in here besides... <sighs> of course. You know what? I got 50 FP, might as well use it! Alright, that's it. I'm not fighting any enemies unless they, I can see... Okay, there we go! I knew Hammer Bros were coming up! Hammer Bros are really tough, let me tell you. And remember, you can fight these guys on the Guys Toy Box. These are the Hammer Bros. You've seen these punks before, haven't you? Max HP 12, Attack Power 5, Defense Power 1. Be careful of that hammer. If it hits you, you'll get shrunk in a wink. When the Hammer Bros get desperate, they'll hurl a ton of hammers, so watch it. These guys have been a pain for ages, so let's give them an old-fashioned whooping. As always, they're not to be underestimated. Also, they're the only Koopa-type enemies in the game that don't flip over. Seriously, if you jump on their heads, they won't flip on their backs. If they get low enough HP, then they'll start going crazy with the hammers. They'll throw like six of them, be like, whoa, 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 whoa. and that's not good. All right, what? 
What say you finish these guys for me? <laughs> Thank you, Watt. You're a gem. Alright, at this rate, it's going to take like four videos to get for just Bowser's Castle, and I don't want that, so let's keep going. Oh, welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's Castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess, do you want to go through here? Hmm? You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then I'll let you go through. Ha ha ha. And gotta hand it to Bowser, we get dumped into jail. Ha 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 ha, you fell for it, worm. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? <laughs> I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. <laughs> oh, Mario, you came at long last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where, and her beautiful castle's being run by Bowser's horrid staff of rejects. Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now there's nothing I can do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Please, at least save our dear Princess Peach. This is the Toad Minister. Uh, pleasure to meet you. My name is Gumario, sir. I'm Mario's right hand, sir. Just joking, but seriously, one day I'd love to be invited to a castle party. How about it? <laughs> Gumario, you're totally my right hand man. You've been through my side thick and thin. This wouldn't have happened if we'd been better defenses. I don't know if I can ever apologize to Princess Peach. Uh, it doesn't matter. Saving her is all that counts now. I still can't believe that all of Princess Peach's castle was kidnapped during the party. I know it's just a means to catch Princess Peach, but still, only an evil fiend like Bowser would do something like that. Please make him pay. Mario, you've come to save us! I just knew you would! All the toads in here used to work in Princess Peach's castle. The princess isn't with us. I think she must be confined somewhere else. Mario, don't worry about us. Save Princess Peach is the only thing that matters. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I wonder. If we go in here, will we get an item? Oh, we can't. Darn it. Well, can we jump in there? Nope. Looks like you should be able to jump through there, but no. A tasty tonic? That's terrible! That's easily one of the worst items in the game. Ooh, I will take a life shroom, though. Alright, well, you'll notice there's a crack in the wall over here. I like Bowser's Castle because it makes you use all of your partners again. It's awesome. There we go! It's a piece of cake to break these walls! The material's weak! These are much easier than the walls of Cooper Bros. Fortress. You're really lucky you have me alone, aren't you? I sure am, Bombette. You're amazing. And now we're in the lava corridors. These are fun. Paracarry is actually the partner you want here, because sometimes you have to go across big gaps. Okay. Well, then that works, too. sinking platform, so you have to make your way across those quickly. Alright, Lackluster. Use your power. And man, he does not like going on above lava. This cloud says it all. Now we want Paracarry. You gotta time this flight. Oh, never mind. No, you don't. I always underestimate the amount of distance that these platforms travel. Bowser's Castle is just a really well put together area, though. I love how you use all of your partners again. Even the ones like Black Lester, where you don't use that much. Okay, can't go up there. Black Lester can't jump. I like how they also bring back things like, oh, it's the lava from Mount Lava Lava, which is pretty cool. It's just a lot of throwbacks in Bowser's Castle. It's amazing. One of the best final dungeons ever, to be perfectly honest. It's so much fun. And it's so well done. Paracarry, 
I may have not used you as much as I probably should have during this journey, but I do appreciate your power. Sorry, Lackluster, I know you don't like going over lava, but I'm really out of options. So you're probably wondering, how do we get up to all of these platforms like that? Well, you'll find out in a bit. Oh boy. Lava fall. Out of sight. Just like a bunch of stuff like this, like we're combining powers, like we use Lackluster to cross the lava, Paracarry to cross the gaps, and then Bow to like turn invisible to avoid the lava flows. Like, just so good. Just wonderful. Oh, and this, that is beautiful. Alright. We've got a new enemy coming up here. Uh-oh! Mario is right there! Now what were we supposed to do in this situation? Kimmy Koopa told us something, but I'm trying to tell the blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh no. Do you think that means we have to fight him? No! He'll wipe the floor with us! Stop your belly aching! Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad! Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch! Don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on! Take this, plumber! Show him what you're made of! Whoa! We have no choice! Gotta be brave! Gotta be... ATTACK! So now we face... Magi Koopa. We fought one of these, like, really early in the game, but it was a weakened version of a Magi Koopa. This is a Magi Koopa. Magi Koopas are the elite magicians of the Koopa clan. Max HP 11, attack power 6, defense power 0. I thought they had 8 attack. Tread carefully, Mario. Their magic attacks pack a serious punch. They know many nasty spells. We'd better beat them before they know, uh, before they can do anything crazy. I mean, that would be probably a good idea. Mega Quake! And the Koopa Trolls are now useless. Well, if I just do Mega Quake again, then no problem, right? Oh, actually, I've got a better idea. So I'm going to actually show off Star Beam, which doesn't take any uh, star power to use, and it works on all enemies. Cool. So it says it didn't do anything, but you'll notice that guy's not electrified anymore. Alright, Cooper. Power Shell. Just enough to kill them all. Yeah, Cooper, you rule. Alright, if we hit the switch. Now the room just got a lot darker. Hey! The lava hardened when it cooled off! Now we can walk across it! Let's go, Mario! Heck yeah. So now the lava's all nice and hard and... Very nice touch, if I do say so myself. So if we go back, we can get things like... The Thunder Rage. And the Mystery. I haven't actually showed off a mystery during the battle, have I? I've only cooked with one. It gives you a random item from like a set amount of items. It could be like a mushroom, a dry shroom, a super shroom, a thunder rage, or a pebble. And the pebble actually hits you. And we get the castle key! Sweet! However, you'll remember there was that red block early in the dungeon. Well, now that the lava's hardened, we can grab it. So that's where we broke out. We'll come back for that item block on our way back. That's where we fought the Cooper Troll to get the castle key, and now we're down here. And despite looking like a totally unique and new badge, that's just the deep focus badge. Oddly enough, that like badge symbol right there is actually for a badge that was not actually in the final cut of the game can't remember what it was called but we get that then if we go to our badges 
all the deep focuses look the same. Still, pretty cool. Deep focus is not a terribly good badge, though. I guess if you combine deep, all three deep focuses with group focus, that actually can be a good badge. Ooh, Life Shroom. Yes, please. I'm gonna want some Life Shrooms for this area. Because there's an optional mini-boss in this er uh, dungeon, and it is without a doubt the hardest optional mini-boss in the entire game. I'm guessing a lot of people don't even know it exists, or have didn't think it was really possible to beat them. Well... <coughs> It is. Come on, let's spin. We can take on Bowser. And now we can use our castle key to get through there. Hang on, I just gotta check. Okay, yeah, that's where we came from. Makes sense. Oh boy, now we get to use Watt's power. And much different music now. And you know what? For this room, I'm actually going to equip the Bump Attack Badge. Just because since I'm carrying Watt, I can't spin into these guys. And I can't tattle on them either, because... That's bump attack. I can't tattle on the Miver because the room's dark, so if I switch to Goombario, it'll just be like, oh, lights out. You can't tattle because you can't even see the guys. Once again, we're combining partner powers. Pretty cool. Don't worry, we actually do get to tattle on these enemies uh, later on in the dungeon where they're not in the dark room. Dizzy Dial, I believe. Pow Block? No way. Pow Blocks are awful. Behold the power of my bump. I like how the Bowser's Castle music gets more ominous as you get closer and closer to Bowser. Oh boy, forgot about the second room. Beat it. I don't even have Spike Shield equipped. This will have a Dizzy Dial, I believe. Shooting star? Hey, I actually might want that. Uh, let's see... Mystery? Sorry, mystery. I'd rather have a shooting star. I will say... As Paracarry's not great in battle, but man, you use his power a lot on the field. It's probably one of the most used partner powers. Alright, which way has the question mark block? I want to say up. Hi! If I get hit by his spell, that's an enemy first strike. Oh. There must be something up here. There's nothing up there. Really? Okay. At least I showed off everything. Man, Bowser's got like a whole cavern in his castle. That's pretty boss. Oh, then this part's pretty awesome. So you see this? We can push it to the left. <laughs> and then... Uh -huh? You came back? 
You escaped from that underground jail? But there was no way you could escape! Grrr! Of all the dirty tricks, I guess I have to keep my word. You can... go through. Grrr! But don't think I'll forget this! Coolest door in the game. <laughs> and now the music gets more ominous. Now if we go through here... Oh. We don't need bump attack anymore. I actually like spin attack more. Except in that one situation. Take that. And we get the prison key. And we can let these toads out. Ooh, chic. I come all the way from Dry Dry Desert to Princess Peach's party, and look what happens. I've been to, to some lame parties, but that was ridiculous. I want to go back to the desert as soon as possible. Mario, you're safe! Oh, I'm so glad! We all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach, the minister, and all the other guests are. I'm really worried about them. Mario, your main goal is to save the princess, isn't it? She must be doing okay, holding on to the belief that you'll come. We soldiers should have broken out to save her by now. But it's taken all our efforts just to protect the prisoners. What a shame. Psst, psst. The Toad House's slogan is, Refresh your body and soul. This isn't a real Toad House. But you can take a quick nap here if you feel like it. Are you going to take a nap? Yeah, sure. These are difficult times. Please rest well, though. This is the best Toad House ever. And it still works just as well as a regular turret house. Did you sleep well? Then take care and go. Oops. Shh. I should be quiet. Otherwise, they'll find us. Now we're getting a kind of like an electric guitar in the mix of here. Alright, so before I save... And quit and leave the episode. There's a little something in here that will interest you. What? Who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario, huh? <laughs> just joking. I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, if you've got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. Yeah, sure. Oh, you're voted, man! Take a look around. I'll sell you anything you see. Except he charges ridiculously high prices for everything. But what I really want is to be able to store some stuff. I can hold on to eight more items. Well, shoot. Electro Pop, we're probably not going to need. Big Cookie, we're probably not going to need. Oh, sorry, Cookie Monster! Alright, we probably also are not going to need the Shooting Star or the Thunder Rage. So basically, we're not going to get another shop in Bowser's Castle before the optional mini boss. So I am going to claim all of my Repel Gel. All three of them. Actually, do I? I should have four by now, actually. If actually, okay, if I use all four repel gel, the boss is going to be a joke. Maybe I won't use it at all. Because there are a few other partner abilities I want to show off, like Cooper's Dizzy Shell, Watt's Mega Shock, Sushi's Water Block. Oh, I still need to show off Lackalester's Hurricane and Paracarry's Airlift, too. We'll do that in the next episode, most likely. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.